I'm Angie and I'm pretty well known for my banana bread. So I'm going to show you how to make this loaf quickly and easily. It tastes so good and it doesn't cost $3.50 a slice like at some restaurants in town. First I've preheated the oven to $3.50 and I've greased a 9 by 5 loaf pan with cooking spray. The method for making any loaf is the same. You're just going to cream your butter with your sugars, add your wet ingredients, combine your dry ingredients and add those. That's all there is to it. So we're starting out with a quarter cup of softened butter and you want to cream that first. Then we're going to add one cup of white sugar and cream those together for a couple seconds. You can do this by hand as well or with a handheld electric mixer. You can scrape down the sides just to make sure it's all incorporated. Then we're going to add one and two thirds cup mashed bananas. That's about three medium, uh, three large, four medium bananas. And an easy way to mash them is with a potato masher or a fork if you don't have a food processor. We're also going to add a quarter cup of skim milk and a quarter cup of low fat sour cream or yogurt. They're interchangeable. And one egg. Mix those until they're combined. Now we're going to combine our dry ingredients. I've got two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. I just whisk those together to make sure there's no lumps of soda. Now we just add our dry ingredients to our wet. And mix gently, just until they're combined. You don't want to overmix. So we just put this in our prepared pan. And you're going to bake that at 350 for about an hour and 10 minutes or until the tester comes out clean. Whoop, the oven's ready. Here's what the finished banana bread looks like. Cracks are a good sign. Tip it out. Let it cool for about 15 minutes if you can stand it. And if you want to be really naughty, have a slice of butter. Thanks, enjoy your banana bread.